Hello everyone, welcome to the Computer Networks Practical Series. Today we'll be doing the practical OSPF with multiple areas. So this is the topology we'll use: three routers and uh, two PCs. As you can see, uh, we have two areas: area zero, area one. Area zero is this blue one, and area one is this pink one. So these are the IP address we are assigning. So for PC zero, the IP address is uh, written in red. So all the red written they are in the they are the IP address and this blue one it is the loopback address for whenever we are configuring OSPF for multiple areas we must uh, mention we, we have to uh, also configure the loopback address otherwise uh, this practical uh, we, we won't be able to do this practical properly so uh, this uh, PC zero address is 192.168.1.2 and for router we have two interfaces I am using the router 1941 so there are two a gigabit interface one is zero zero and other is zero one so it is better before performing this practical we must write this topo we must just uh, take down this topology on, on a piece of paper so that we must know what we are configuring where okay so for zero for g zero zero gigabit zero zero we are using this address 192.168.1.1 and for zero one this 192.168.2.1 and for this router one gigabit zero zero is 192.168.2.2 so this is the topology okay and uh, for router 0 10.1.1.1 is the loopback address and for this one 20.1.1.1 and this is 30.1.1.1 and uh, and these are the addresses of various hosts we are using so pc0 pc1 okay uh, the ip addresses are given okay Z, uh, even of the routers with the interface okay g00 g01 loopback and the network address the network mask and the wildcard mask so it is better if you if we note this on a piece of paper then it would be easier for us to configure on cisco packet tracer so let us now perform this practical on cisco packet tracer so this is the cisco packet tracer so let us first configure the network so we have uh, two PCs, so we'll just select the PCs. Okay. Two PCs, and then we have three routers. So, router zero. I will just take one nine four one. So this is router zero, okay. And then router one at the center, okay. And then router two at this point, okay. Then we'll just make the connections. So for connection, I'll click here and select this wire fast ethernet now this is with zero zero okay this we must take care okay this is zero zero gigabit zero zero and this is zero one and this is zero zero okay. then zero one of this with zero zero of this okay. and zero one of this with the fast ethernet so this is the configuration now first let us uh, configure the pcs so I click on PC0 and then uh, desktop IP configuration so the IP address is 192.168.1.2 and uh, this address is 192.168.1.1 okay. the default gateway this will come subnet mask will come automatically then I come to this PC1 and uh, desktop then uh, IP configuration this is 192.168.4.2 okay. and uh, this default gateway is 192.168.4.1 okay. so this is what we have done the configuration of the PCs now let us come to the router and now first of all we will configure the IP address of the various interface on the router so I click on router 0 and then uh, in the on the CLI mode I come to the CLI mode okay and then uh, so enable command first okay and then config terminal configure terminal now I will type I will select the interface so there are two interfaces G00 and G01 uh, so first of all 00 now the I'll just type the IP address. So IP address is uh, 192.168.1.1. Okay, 
and the mask is 255.255.255.0 okay then uh, i will have to type the command no shutdown to turn on that particular interface as you can see uh, this is this is red so i want to make it green so i have to turn it on so this command no shutdown is for that purpose if i enter it as you can see it will turn green as you can see this is turn green now we go to the next interface okay so first of all you have to exit from this interface okay and then we'll type the command i'll see, have to select that particular interface so interface g now 0 1 okay 0 slash 1 okay then ip address as you can see the ip address is 192.168.2.1 okay and the mask is 2.255.255.255 dot zero okay and again no shutdown to turn on that particular interface okay now when we turn it on this won't this won't turn uh, green because we have to turn this interface of this router also on okay okay so th this is done now we exit from here now we have to define that loopback address so type the command interface loopback loop back zero i'll just type loop back zero okay uh, then uh, type the address ip address so this is 10.1.1.1 okay and the mask is 255.0.0.0 okay so then we exit from here okay so this is how we configure router one similarly we will do for router two and router three also
Now after configuring the IP address, we will configure the OSPF on each router. So I will just click on this router number 0. Okay. And then uh, in the CLI mode, okay. uh, first we have to enable. In case it is not enabled, then uh, config terminal. So we have to go in this particular mode. Next command is router OSPF. Router OSPF one. Okay. Now uh, in this case we have to type the uh, we have to type the networks. Okay. Network address. So this router is connected to network one ninety two dot one six eight dot one dot zero okay and then after this we need to type the wildcard mask so if you have noted it down you can see this it is zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five and then we need to define the area so this is a area zero according to the diagram it is area zero okay so this was the first uh, network then second network there are two networks so network one ninety two dot one six eight dot two dot zero and same wildcard mask zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five and this is also area zero okay. then we exit from here we ordered this two okay then next we come to the router number two and add the two addresses but here we have one a one is in area one other is in area two okay so enable then config terminal then router ospf router ospf again one now we have to add two add two networks so network one is 192.168.2.0 and the wildcard mask as we know 0 0.0.0.255 0 0 so this particular is in area uh, 0 of course sorry this one is in area 0 this one is in area 0 okay. now next network is a uh, 192.168.3.0 okay and the wild card mask is same okay so they are actually exchange, exchanging that uh, see they are exchanging the message so i'll just have to type it again so that is network okay network 192.168.3.0 okay 0.0 dot, sorry that is 0 0.0.0.255 but and this is actually area one okay this is not area zero if you see the diagram we are coming on the right side of the branch so this is one of the network okay now we exit from here okay now we come go to the next network that is the sorry next router this is router number two okay so in the cli mode of course so we come into the CIL, cli mode So enable okay. and then uh, config terminal. Then again, same command router OSPF one. Okay. Next, we have to add the address. This one ninety two dot one six eight dot three dot zero okay and the wildcard mask and this is of course area one okay next we add the next network okay so it is now sharing the as you can see we are getting the loading this it means it is it is it is done okay then we have to next uh, and add the other network so network Okay, uh, one ninety two dot one six eight dot four dot zero. Okay, and this is the wildcard mask. And area, of course, area area one. Okay. Okay. Then now we can exit from here. Okay. So this is uh done. Okay. Now let us uh 
verify this okay now for verifying uh, we have to do uh, what we'll do is we'll click here on this particular pc okay and go into the command prompt okay and ping the other pc the ip address of that uh, the, that particular uh, pc is 192.168.4.2 okay so if you are getting the reply it means we have done it okay we are done okay okay so we are getting the reply as you can see the first will be lost but first is timed out but the, we are getting the reply from that particular pc so uh, let us do it again as you can see we are getting the reply so let us check from the other side from this side okay we'll check this command prompt you go to the command prompt then ping the other pc that is 192.168. Uh, dot uh, sorry 1.2 as you can see we are getting the reply okay so the reply is coming from that so that this is how we configure the ospf with multiple areas so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching